Hello, we are live. We're so excited to be here. We're going to let some people start to join on here. And I'm going to try to get this shared so we can get more people to see it. Again, it's so excited to be here. I hope you all are doing well as we're letting people join on here. Alrighty. I'll tell you what, we sure enjoyed the uh, the service this morning with Preacher, and it was, sure was encouraging, and we're so excited to be here, and uh, people are getting on and getting ready to go. We're going to sing a couple songs today, and we've got a fun lesson, and uh, we're looking forward to that. We also have a fun game uh, that we're looking forward to towards the end of the video, and it's called Two Truths and a Myth. We're going to give you two truths about the history of the American flag, and it's up to you to decide which one of the three that we give you is a myth. You gotta listen to all three very closely and pay attention and see if you can figure out which one is a myth. So listen very closely, looking forward to that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Again, we're gonna sing some songs and uh, play the game at the end and looking forward to that. So I really hope y'all are doing well. It's the first try at live. We're both pretty nervous. And so I'd ask that you guys would pray for us and so we can get through it together. We're not gonna be very long. And we're looking forward to what the Lord will bless us with today. Alrighty. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to start off with a song then and get everything moving. So you want to sing with us? We're going to get started here. And uh, the first song we're going to sing is Captain Jack, okay? So I'm going to start it off and then you're going to repeat after me, okay? And Brittany's going to help us out here so we understand how to go. And I'm simply going to say something and you're going to say what I say, okay? Here we go. Hey, hey, Captain Jack. Hey, hey. Jack. Meet me down by the railroad tracks. Meet me down by the railroad tracks. With my Bible in my head. With my Bible in my hand. I'm gonna be a preacher man. I'm gonna be a preacher man. Your left, your left. Your left, your left. Your left, right, left. Your left, right, left. Your left, your right, don't get out of step. Your left, your right, your left. Your left, your right, don't get out of step. Your left, your right, your left. Sound off. One, two. Louder. Three, four. Bring it on down now. One, One two, two, three, four. four. One, One, two, two three, three, four. Huh. Hey, hey, Bible joke. Hey, hey, Bible joke. There is something you should know. There is something you should know. Jesus died to save your soul. Jesus died to save your soul. If you'll trust him, then you'll know. If you'll trust him, then you'll know. Your left, your left. Your left, your left. Your left, right, left. Your left, right, left. Your left, your right, don't get out of step. Your left, your right, your left. Your left, your right, don't get out of step. Your left, your right, your left. Sound off. One, two. Louder. Three, four. Bring it on down now. One, One two, two, three, four. four. One, One, two, two three, three, four. four. All right, let's do the last verse. Here we go. Hey, hey, Christian Mary. Hey, hey, Christian Mary. Why don't you be a missionary? Why don't you be a missionary? Don't be like little mice. Don't be like little mice. Go out and win the world for Christ. Go out and win the world for Christ. Your left, your left. Your left, your left. Your left, right, left. Your left, right, left. Your left, your right, don't get out of step. Your left, your right, your left. Your left, your right, don't get out of step. Your left, your right, your left. Sound off. One, two. Louder. Three, four. Bring it on down now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Huh. Awesome. Great singing. If you just joined us, we we'll want to let you know that we're going live today, so we're a little nervous and out of our comfort zone. But nonetheless, we're excited that you're here and with us. I think I might have a live video sideways, so if that's a problem with you, I'm very sorry about that. But we'll get through it. We're having fun today, nonetheless. And I want to let you know that at the end of our video, we'll be playing a game entitled Two Truths and a Myth. So stay tuned for that. Stay with us. And uh, we'll give you three facts 
or somewhat facts about the American flag, some history about it, and you gotta listen to all three and then decide for yourself which one of the three is a myth. All right, so make sure you listen very closely. Looking forward to that. It's gonna be some fun. And we're gonna sing one more song, so sing along with us. We're gonna sing, I'm gonna sing, 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 I'm gonna shout, shout, shout. So for this song, let's have everybody stand up. We're gonna sing this one together. Here we go. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout and praise the Lord. And when those gates are open wide, I'm gonna sit by Jesus' side. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout and praise the Lord. I'm gonna clap, clap, clap. I'm gonna snap, snap, snap. I'm gonna clap, I'm gonna snap and praise the Lord. And when those gates are open wide, I'm gonna sit by Jesus' side. I'm gonna clap, I'm gonna snap and praise the Lord. I'm gonna fly, fly, fly up to the sky, sky, sky. I'm gonna fly up to the sky and praise the Lord. And when those gates are open wide, I'm gonna sit by Jesus' side. I'm gonna fly up to the sky and praise the Lord. I'm gonna step, step, step onto the bus, bus, bus. I'm gonna step onto the bus and praise the Lord. And when those gates are open wide, I'm gonna sit by Jesus' side. I'm gonna step onto the bus and praise the Lord. I'm gonna zoom, zoom, zoom out to my room, room, room. I'm gonna zoom up to my room and praise the Lord. And when those gates are open wide, I'm gonna sit by Jesus' side. Gonna zoom up to my room and praise the Lord. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout. I'm gonna clap, clap, clap. I'm gonna snap, snap, snap. I'm gonna fly, fly, fly up to the sky, sky, sky. Gonna step, step, step onto the bus, bus, bus. I'm gonna zoom, zoom, zoom out to my room, 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 and praise the Lord. And when those gates are open wide, I'm gonna sit by Jesus' side. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout, I'm gonna clap, I'm gonna snap, I'm gonna fly up to the sky. Gonna step onto the bus, gonna zoom up to my room and praise the Lord. Awesome, great singing. I sure did enjoy that song. I'm gonna sit on down. And if you just joined with us, I'll let you know again, we're gonna be playing a game towards the end of our video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. It's entitled uh, Two Truths and a Myth. We'll give you a couple facts about the American flag and you have to decide which one is a myth. All right, so if you wanna look up some stuff ahead of time, and you study up for that, that would be great. Well, we're going to sing one more song that is maybe a little unfamiliar for us. It's maybe a song, a song we've sang in junior church or on the bus before. But nonetheless, it's a song that I know of, and it's going to be fun. So we're going to sing this one together. And uh, let's see. I'll hear my verses right here. So sing along with us if you know it. If not, uh, Miss Rennie is going to help us out so you can sing along with her, and it's going to be great. All right, here we go. It's entitled, Oh, You Can't Get to Heaven, Okay. It's a great fun song. Here we go. Oh, you can't get to heaven. Oh, you can't get to heaven. On a washing machine. And a washing machine. Oh, you can't get to heaven. Oh, you can't get to heaven. In a washing machine. Oh, you can't get to heaven in a washing machine. Because God don't care about clothes are clean. All my sins are washed away. I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. Oh, you can't get to heaven. Oh, you can't get to heaven. On roller skates. Oh, you can't get to heaven. Oh, you can't get to heaven. On roller skates. Oh, you can't get to heaven on roller skates. Get right past those pearly gates. All my sins are washed away. I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. Oh, you can't get to heaven. Oh, you can't get to heaven. And a limousine. And a limousine. Oh, you can't get to heaven. Oh, you can't get to heaven. In a limo. Zine. Oh, you can't get to heaven in a limousine Cause God don't sell no gasoline All my sins are washed away I've been redeemed, I've been redeemed Awesome, that was fun singing I hope you sing along with us That was a lot of fun We really enjoyed it A lot of fun there If you have your Bibles and want to turn there with us We're going to sing a couple more songs But if you want to get the Bible first And turn to uh, Acts chapter 9 We're going to be talking today about one of my favorite characters in the Bible, of course, after David. His name is Paul. And boy, 
tell you what, he's one of my favorite individuals in the Bible. I love his testimony of what he did for God and his passion is for him. And boy, it's going to be exciting today. Looking forward to that. And our game is afterwards as well. So we're going to sing a couple more songs. The first one is actually one of our first songs that we love singing in junior church. It's 1 John 4, 7 and 8. We love it. All right, let's sing this together. Here we go. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God, he that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. Beloved, let us love one another, First John 4, 7 and 8, yeah. Awesome, pretty good job. I enjoy singing that long that song. I hope you were singing along with us. And or me, Brittany wasn't singing. She's lying. I'm just kidding. She sounded really away. Really good. Let's try that one together again. First John 4, 7 and 8. Listen along. I love the song and the words that are in it. Here we go. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God. And knoweth God, he that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. Beloved, let us love one another. First John 4, 7 and 8. Yeah, awesome. So much fun. I'm sure, sure do enjoy that song. The next song we're going to sing is in Psalms, Psalms 119, and it goes, the song that we sing that is, Oh How. All right. It's a part of a repeat after me song. I say, Oh How. Repeat after me. Bree's gonna help us out with that so you know when to sing, okay? Here we go. Oh, how, oh, how, oh, how love of thy law, it is my meditation all the day. Oh, how, oh, how, oh, how love of thy law, it is my meditation all the day. I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. I have refrained my feet. From every evil way that I might keep thy word. Great singing. Let's do in the next verse. How sweet. Sing along with us. Here we go. How sweet. How sweet. Are thy words unto my taste. Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet. How sweet. Are thy words unto my taste. Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. I have refrained my feet. From every evil way that I might keep thy word. I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. Awesome, great singing. I sure do enjoy those verse songs. And boy, if we commit it to song, we can commit it to memory, our memory so much better. And boy, we can have it in our hearts. And we can use that, and the Lord will allow us to be able to honor and glorify Him more when we have His Word committed to our heart. I sure do love that one. So we're going to read a couple of verses in Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9. I'll let you turn there if you haven't turned there already. And we're just going to read a couple of verses and talk a little bit about the transformation of Paul while he was on the road to Damascus. On the road to Damascus. Boy, what a story. is in tune for us today. I'm excited about it. So listen in. We're just going to read. Let's see. We're going to start reading in verse number three. And uh, we'll see how the Lord takes us this morning. Here we go. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. And suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for me to kick against the pricks. And he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? Oh, what a wonderful question. Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. I want to ask the Lord to bless this time in the lesson. And as I'm praying, I ask you to pray along with me. Ask the Lord to speak to your heart and ask him to help you to listen and take all away the distractions that are there at your home. Maybe people who are talking to just ask the Lord to speak to you today. 
Here we go. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you so much for the opportunity we still have to be together at this time in a live video, Lord. Even though the world may be a little chaotic, Lord, I just pray that you bless this time in a very special way, like only you can. Lord, we love you so much. Thank you so much for the salvation, the free gift that you've given us of eternal life. Again, I pray that you ask, that you bless this time, and that we love you. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, so we read a couple verses about Saul, and he was on the road to Damascus. And you could imagine, he's walking along, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, comes this light shining right into his eyes. And he's like, oh my goodness, I can't see. The Bible says that he went blind. Now, imagine, have you ever had a bright light shine in your eyes before? Maybe you were in a dark room and somebody suddenly turned the lights on. Maybe you were sleeping and the lights turned on. You're like, oh, no, not right now. And maybe gave you a little bit of, you know, dots and stuff in your vision. It was hard to see. Well, Saul, I mean, when that bright light hit him, he just had one great big dot. All I saw was black. He went, like, blind, momentarily, temporarily blind. And he couldn't see anything. So he's just standing there stunned, going like, what is going on? Who's talking to me? He can't really see. His eyes were probably open. I closed my eyes. His eyes were open. He just couldn't see anything. And uh, boy, it must have been quite the experience. And you know what happened on the road to Damascus? You see, he was on his way there. He had papers in hand to go there and to find Christians. Christians like you and me. He was going to find them. He was going to throw them in prison. I mean, he was going to stone them. He was going to kill them. He was, I mean, he didn't like Christians. He didn't like people like you and me. Now, how scary is that? But then all of a sudden, this one time on this road to Damascus, boy, Jesus caught him right in his tracks. And with this bright light, he stopped him and said, hey, why are you persecuting me? Saul, what are you doing? And boy, he stopped him right there in his tracks. And you see, through this transformation, Jesus, or God, gets a hold of Paul's heart. And Paul recognizes that the things that he was doing was against God. You see, he thought he was, you know, some pharisaical, you know, person who loved God and, you know, the things of God and the traditions of God. And he was doing the right thing by killing these Christians. They were just God forsaken, oh, going against traditions. Boy, he learns real quickly that in reality, they are serving the one true God. They are serving the true risen Savior. And Saul realizes this. And through this transformation, his name changes from Saul to Paul. And boy, we see this beautiful transformation that we read about almost 2,000 years later about this wonderful man, one of the greatest Christians to ever walk on the earth other than Christ himself. And boy, he became such a great example for us to look to. So you know what? I think it's important for us to notice the life of Paul, to recognize just how much God can change an individual. Because like you and me, we all need a transformation. We are all these wretched sinners who deserve hell. We deserve to die in a very bad place called hell. We all deserve to go there. And you know what? God loves each and every one of us, even Saul who persecuted him. You know what? I doubt you ever killed somebody or tried to kill other people like Christians. I mean, all people killing Christians, you know? And uh, I'm sure you're not doing anything like that. But nonetheless, God still loved you just like he loved Paul who was persecuting him. And Jesus loved you so very much. He died on the cross and experienced the worst possible death ever so he could mend our relationship and bring us closer together. Boy, I tell you what, he loves you so much. You see, I just want to let you know today how we can have a relationship with him. We have to recognize uh, who God is. He's, he's a sovereign, righteous God. We have to realize who we are. We're wretched sinners who deserve to go to hell. And the only way to get to God is through Jesus Christ. I pray that you would recognize that and receive him today. Boy, what a savior he is and what a king he is. And if you have any more questions about that, feel free to message us, send us questions, call us, whatever you have. And we would love to talk to you, get to know you better if you want to answer more questions about that. At this time, we're going to move on. I'm going to ask you a couple quick questions that we promised for our game. Two truths and a myth. All right, so get ready for this. Here we go. 
All right, two truths and a myth. Listen very closely. I'm going to give you three statements, all right, for our game, and then make sure you comment and let us know which one you think is the truth, all right? Here we go. Statement number one. Which one, you, right, right, which one do you think is the myth, all right? Here's the first one. The first American flag was designed and sewn together by Betsy Ross. Truth or myth? The first American flag was designed and sewn together by Betsy Ross. Statement number two, listen closely. There have been 27 different versions of the American flag with different amounts of stars. Truth or myth? There have been 27 different versions of the American flag with different amounts of stars. All right, statement three. When President Eisenhower was searching for a new flag design after Alaska and Hawaii were added and joined to the United States, he chose the design that a high schooler made for a class project. And he got a B in my eyes on that, didn't he? Yeah. And it says that President Eisenhower chose that. Is that a truth or a myth? All right. Truth or a myth. Statement one, statement two, statement three. Tell me which one you think is the myth. I'm going to look on here and see if we got any comments on here. Here we go. I'm looking to see if we have any. All right. Truth or myth. Statement one, statement two, statement three. And we'll wait to see if anybody puts in some comments on there. All right. I'm looking. Let's see. Awesome. Statement one, statement two, or statement three. I can repeat them. Nobody's answered yet. I don't think anybody, I haven't seen anybody answer yet. So statement one was the American flag was designed and sewn together for, by Betsy Ross. Is that a truth or a myth? There were 27 different flags with different amounts of stars on there. Truth or myth? Or President Eisenhower chose this high schooler it's designed for the American flag after Alaska and Hawaii had joined. Let's see, statement one, statement two, or statement three. All right. Let's see. I'm seeing some answers for one and for two. All righty. I think I do see the correct answer. Yes, in fact, I do see the correct answer. Let's see. Number one is, in fact, a myth. All right. Let's see. Was that Toby or was that Chloe or both of them? Which one? Let me know. But yes, that is correct. Statement number one is, in fact, a myth. Betsy Ross didn't actually design and put together the American flag. We don't actually know who did it, in fact. But it was a great story, and great stories make a great, you know, attachment to the flag and how precious and how much we should honor it. So if you're going to, you know, honor the flag, you've got to have a good story to go with it. And so they made up a story. That's your Ross. Sounds good, right? But it's actually a myth. All right? So that's great. Number one is the myth. And you know what? I want to let you guys know I'm so thankful for you guys joining on here and watching. Make sure you share it, like our page. And we love you guys so much. And uh, it's been a great time. And it was Toby. Good job, Toby. Good job, man. Congratulations. You got it right. Proud of you, buddy. And uh, I want you to know that we love you. We miss you. We really wish you, we could be with you guys. We're looking forward to uh, being together in junior church together. And we're really looking forward to the driving service tonight at 4 o'clock. Hope to see you there. We sure do love you and appreciate you. And we'll see you guys later. All right. Bye-bye now.